We all know how important charts and graphs are to anyone using spreadsheets. Without such functionality, spreadsheet applications would definitely feel like wearing three-fourth pants or eating half a burger. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you can create graphs or charts in Google Sheets. Graphs and charts are a mainstay in spreadsheets like Excel or Google Sheets. The ability to create such useful visual aids in an instant basically helped form a lot of the corporations and organizations that we see today. This is why it's so important that we learn how to make them in Google Sheets. We start in our sheet here in Google Sheets. We have some sample data from an imaginary fruit stand that we can learn the basics from. The simplest and fastest way of creating a graph in Google Sheets is almost pretty similar to Excel. Just select your data table, including headers, and go into Insert and select Chart. The chart it gives you doesn't exactly make a lot of sense at the moment, but here we can see how things work. It sets the column on the farthest left position of the selection as the values in your x-axis and the columns to the right of that, the values or the series in the chart. To manipulate or tweak your chart, we can double click on it and it opens the chart editor on the right. It's here where you can select the chart type. You can select from dozens of chart types. Next, for bar charts or any other applicable chart, you can choose to have them stacked which basically means that the data will be graphically represented on a single bar. You can see here the data range you selected for the chart, then the x-axis. As you can see, it automatically detected what we want to have as an x-axis value, which are the products. To change that, we can simply click on these three dots here and select remove and we can select a new x-axis series. In the three dots, you can also choose to have labels on them. So let's see what that looks like. You can also do the same thing with your series. Further below, we have the options to switch rows and columns, which basically does what it says. It switches the headers and data with respect to each other. We also have options to use row 1 as the headers and to use column A for the labels. Say for example, we're asked to graph products, units sold, and total sales. Let's select our products, then while holding down the control key, we're gonna select quantity sold and total sales. Now we have our chart with only the quantity sold. Do the same steps we did a while ago, which was go to insert and insert a chart. Now we have our chart with only the quantity sold and total sales. But we want to create a distinction between these two, so we can go ahead and select a new kind of chart that better encompasses the data. Let's select the combo chart type. We can see that our quantity sold is now a bar chart while our sales are on a line graph. For additional brownie points, we can set that to the secondary axis using the Customize tab of our chart editor. We can double click on the line and it opens up the series option. To open up the secondary axis, simply set the line's axis to the right. The last thing we need for this graph is to add a title which we can do by going up to the chart and axis titles. In this field, enter the chart title. You also have the options to change the font, font size, color, and title format, which is also where you can set the position of your title. You can manually move around the title and the legends within the chart area by simply clicking and dragging them across the chart area. Those are the basics of creating charts in Google Sheets. 
If you found this video useful, please do leave us a like and make sure you're subscribed to Simple Sheets for more Excel and Google Sheets tips and templates. I'll see you on the next one.